For years, China built a wall, not of stone, but of missiles and radar. This modern fortress called an anti-access area denial strategy was designed to keep enemy ships and planes at bay. Billions were spent on long-range missiles like the HQ-9 and advanced radar stations, especially on artificial islands in the South China Sea. The goal, create a shield against American air power. Chinese leaders watched U.S. bombers like the B-52 and B-2, determined to prevent such threats. Their integrated air defense system could track hundreds of targets, and they believed even stealth bombers would be detected and destroyed. This confidence fueled China's expansion in the Pacific. The PLA Air Force trained relentlessly to intercept incoming bombers, aiming to counter the American way of war. The message to the U.S. was clear. Your bombers are no longer a threat. China's engineers studied American stealth aircraft, developing new radars, low, frequency, quantum, hoping to spot the invisible. For a while, it seemed to work. The U.S. bomber fleet was small and expensive. China calculated its dense missile network could overwhelm the few stealth bombers America could send. They bet the age of the penetrating bomber was ending. But technology never stands still. The belief in an unbreakable missile wall would soon be tested. The U.S. was already working on the next leap in air power. The question, could China's wall really stop what was coming next? The answer would change the balance of power in the Pacific. The era of the B-21 Raider was about to begin. The B-2 Spirit was once the ultimate symbol of American air power, a flying wing, nearly invisible to radar, able to strike anywhere, but its greatest weakness was its cost, over $2 billion per plane, with only 21 ever built. A small expensive fleet meant limited presence and flexibility. The B-2's stealth relied on 1980s technology and delicate materials, requiring constant, costly maintenance. China's military studied these weaknesses, developing new radars and tactics to counter the B-2. The world's air defenses evolved, and the B-2's edge faded, its onboard systems, powerful in their day, became outdated and hard to upgrade. Adding new weapons or sensors was slow and expensive. The B-2 was a legend, but it was aging fast. The U.S. needed a bomber that was stealthier, smarter, and more adaptable. The B-2's time as the king of stealth was ending, America required a new spirit in the skies, one that could outpace evolving threats. The answer would be a bomber built for the digital age, one that could be produced in numbers, maintained easily, and upgraded quickly. The B-2 showed what was possible. The next generation would show what was necessary. The B-21 Raider would be that leap forward. The ghost was aging. A new legend was about to rise. The future of air power demanded it. Enter the B-21 Raider, the next step in stealth technology. At first glance, it resembles the B-2, but every detail is sharper, cleaner, and more advanced. The B-21 is smaller, tougher, and uses new radar-absorbent materials that don't require special hangars. It's designed for rapid deployment and minimal maintenance, making it far more flexible. The Air Force plans to buy at least 100 Raiders, transforming the strategic equation. A larger fleet means more targets can be struck from more directions, overwhelming enemy defenses. The B-21 is built for affordability and scale, not just elite performance. Its open architecture allows for easy upgrades. New sensors, weapons and software can be added quickly. Think of it as a smartphone in the sky, always ready for the latest tech. This adaptability ensures the B-21 stays ahead of threats for decades. It's not just a better bomber. It's a platform designed to evolve. The B-21 stealth is a generational leap, making it nearly invisible to even the most advanced radars. It's a force multiplier, changing how wars are fought and won. The Raider is more than an update. It's a complete reimagining of what a bomber can be. It's built to survive, adapt, and dominate in the world's most contested airspace. The B-21 is the answer to the missile wall. It's the future of American air power. And it's just getting started. The B-21 wasn't just designed, it was engineered in the digital world. Northrop Grumman built a complete virtual model, testing every part before metal was ever cut. Digital engineering let them find and fix problems early, saving time and money. Advanced manufacturing, 3D printing, robotics, made production faster and more precise. This approach avoided the costly mistakes of the B-2 program. Secrecy was easier too. Fewer physical prototypes meant fewer leaks. The first B-21 test aircraft, moved from design to assembly with remarkable speed. 
digital tools made the process smoother, cheaper, and more secure. The result, a bomber built better, faster, and at lower cost. The B-21's digital berth is as revolutionary as its design. It's a model for future military projects. The Raider is proof that the digital age has changed how America builds its most advanced weapons. The future of air power is built with bits and bytes. The B-21's greatest weapon is its advanced stealth. Its flying wing shape, refined curves and hidden engines make it nearly invisible to radar. New radar absorbent materials absorb enemy signals, turning them into harmless heat. The B-21's skin works across a wide range of radar frequencies, defeating even China's latest detection systems. It manages its own electronic emissions, making it hard to track by signal intelligence. The radar can jam or deceive enemy radars, adding another layer of protection. It doesn't just hide, it fights back in the electromagnetic spectrum. China's missile wall relies on seeing threats. If the B-21 can't be seen, the wall is useless. The bomber can slip through gaps or fly straight through detection zones undetected. It can strike deep inside enemy territory before anyone knows it's there. The B-21 stealth isn't just an upgrade, it's a game changer. China's massive investment in air defenses is suddenly far less effective. The balance of power shifts with every raider that takes flight. The B-21 is more than a bomber, it's a command center in the sky. It can control a swarm of drones, each with specialized roles, surveillance, jamming or carrying extra weapons. The B-21 can send drones ahead to scout or disrupt defenses, keeping itself safer. This loyal wingman concept multiplies its effectiveness and confuses enemy defenses. The Raider's advanced AI processes information in real time, helping the crew, or the plane itself, make split-second decisions. If a new threat appears, the AI can instantly plot a new course or assign drones to neutralize it. The B-21 is a node in a vast network, gathering intelligence, commanding assets, and striking targets, all while staying hidden. Its open architecture means it can quickly adapt to new missions and technologies. The Raider is not just a better bomber, it's a new category of weapon. It redefines what air power can achieve in the 21st century. The B-21 is a system of systems, changing the rules of the game. It's the ultimate force multiplier. The future of warfare is flying and thinking over enemy skies. The B-21 Raider changes everything in the US-China military balance. China's missile wall was built to keep American bombers out. The B-21 makes that wall obsolete. Its stealth, range, and payload mean no target is safe. The mere existence of a large, undetectable bomber fleet is a powerful deterrent. China must now spend billions trying to counter a threat it can barely see. The B-21's ability to command drones and act as a networked platform creates a new kind of challenge. Traditional air defenses are overwhelmed by this complexity. The Raider forces China to rethink its entire strategy. Built with digital tools, adaptable, and nearly invisible, the B-21 is a game-changer. American air power isn't fading. It's evolving. The B-21 ensures the U.S. can project power anywhere, restoring a strategic balance. The era of the Raider has begun.